and here we are live and direct from Los Angeles. This is Selection Radio. My name is Joe K. In front of me, I got my brother, DJ Dahi. What up? What up? Yo, welcome, man. It's, it's, it's an honor to have you on here. Oh, man. It's an honor to be here, bro. Yeah, man. I think um, you just got back from from uh, Africa. Yep. Right? yep. How, how was that? That was amazing, man. Um, first first time. Um, that's where my uh, father is from, my dad. Uh, we uh, planned a trip to go out there pretty much like years ago and before the Civil War had happened in, in the country. And so we kind of died and said, you can't go. But then he was like, we we, we have to go because yeah. I'm getting old and, and <laughs> you got to meet your grandmother. So what, Which part? Uh, I went to Ivory Coast, which Ivory is Coast. Uh, near Ghana, West Africa, um, Senegal. Um, really dope, really dope. It's near the equator, so it's a lot of, it's very green. Very green? Very green, very green. Did you, did you, uh, was it a pure vacation or did you create some music out there? Uh, it really wasn't even a vacation to me in my eyes, even, in, and I didn't even do any music, really. I just kind of, um, needed to kind of just really focus on just meeting family and kind of seeing how their life was and just really culturally right. being an immigrant in some sense in another country and kind of just culturally trying to figure out what the hell's going on and, and the, the language and the food and stuff and like just even like the sense of like community yeah. is totally different from here and, and from America, you know. So it was just like a different thing, but it was love. It was mm -hmm. a lot of love, a lot of love. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, welcome back. And we just connected a couple months ago randomly yep. at, at Soho House. Yep. Remember that? Yep. 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 And yep. then I was like, and then, so I had no ID on the show, yep. you know, a couple months ago. And then from that point, I was. I didn't realize that you were part of Artium. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. It, it's such a small world, and I just love connecting with good people. The guests that I have on the show, it usually happens in waves. It's like one, it's like a domino effect. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm just, I'm, we're at a point right now where I, I'm just really happy to bring our audience to you guys and vice versa, because I think both worlds, it's time to mesh, you know? No, it's awesome, bro. I mean, I, I, I mean, I've I seen you guys grind like a while back. I remember first, I think I first, we met first, with Tunji in the Interscope office at one time or something like that. Real just random. Like, just yeah. random, you know what I'm saying? And then now it's like, just to see the progression of, like, y'all movement, like, my career just kind of, like, taking little steps here and there and there. And then it's <laughs> little like... Little steps. I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, <laughs> just, I'm just really just being real in the sense of just, yeah. like, you really get to see the, the journey, you know what I'm saying? And to document it in different ways. And I'm trying to really take back to, that, really figuring out, like, how did we get to this point? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's just dope overall. And you're right, like just connecting. The, the timing is right. Yep. So for those who don't know, I would love for you to educate the people and inform them uh, just a little bit of your background yeah. and and where did you get started? Yeah. Um, well, my name is DJ Dahi. I'm a producer slash DJ. Um, I'm originally from Inglewood, California. Uh, grew up here from, went to Morningside High School, Monroe Middle School, um, and then went off to college and, and went to Santa Cruz. And um, overall, I mean, I, I've always been doing music for a while, uh, just since I was a kid, but I really started to get into DJing as a first step and um, really started to, when I got to college, just started, bought a uh, bunch of two belt drive turntables. Uh, I think when the first record I bought was... Uh, um, high tech, uh, was it high technology? What was it called? Yeah, high technology. Yeah, yeah high technology. High tech. Yeah, and I remember I bought that vinyl. It was common. It was called um, the Sun. The Sun guy. The Sun guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I used to play that. My roommate was so mad at me because I, <laughs> I used to play that one record all the time because I was trying to learn how to mix and blend. So um, from then, just started producing. I mean, started um, DJing, and then over a, a period of time, just really started to make the decision like, yo, I really love music, and I want to, I really want to make beats and try to see if I can even know what producing is because I think the term producing or being a producer is very broad and doesn't you don't really have a thing but you really realize you know and you're when you're DJing and, and knowing like oh but this is rapping or this is singing but what's the thing in the background yeah and really um you always gravitated towards the beats I always grab towards the beats yeah. like I mean I couldn't tell you a lyric of a song for for a bunch of records that I like, That's but I can, yeah, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> but I can tell you the beats. And You're a beat head. I'm a beat head, man. I'm a beat head, man. And That's love. And it's it's dope because you you realize just the the formation of like how to make a song, but also how to make a beat. And, I, and when you make a beat, it's all about textures and 
and the right type of punch and kind of slap and all these kind of things combining to, combining to one particular kind of rhythmic mood. Of course. And that was kind of like what I I initially started listening to a lot of beats when I think my friend gave me um I think it was let's see, I'm trying to figure out what the first beat. I mean, the first real beat tape that I really had was probably like Dilla's. Dilla. Just, you know, just like having a was bunch it, of. Was it Donuts or was it like Welcome to Detroit? Or the, oh, the man. Shining? It was, it was, no, no. It was, it was the, it was like the, the unreleased beat tapes. Yeah. Of just like, you know, just. The, the track t- is like un- untitled. Untitled. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, yo, yo, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? And then I remember, um, uh, I, I think what happened was I, I started to just backtrack and figure out what he did. And then I realized all you were listening to him all along. I was into, exactly, you know what I'm saying. Like I, I didn't even know he did Busta's uh, first couple of records on yeah, there, and then tri- he, Tribe, and Tribe, and you know, and just, Far Side, and yeah, just, just Erica, just, just, just like really, just like oh, this dude is just in- impeccable in the sense of his ability yeah. to always change, you know what I'm saying, and really mm-hmm. be a part of like something that somebody else is not on, but he'll make sure and you'll you'll be on it in the future. Yeah, and if, I, you, if you could pick a, a Dilla record right now to play. What, what would it be? First um, song that pops in your head. First song that actually pops in my head is called Radio. Radio. And it's this beat that I think, uh, if you ever find it, it's it's a beat. I think he did it or it was House Shoes. And they did the beat together, but it's, it's like one of my favorite. Let's, let's get into that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to his yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be right back here on Selection Radio with DJ Dahi, live and direct. And we are back here on Selection Radio. You just heard first song was Classic Dilla. That was called Radio. And then you heard, uh, we were talking about high technology, and you heard the Sun God featuring Common, and then we went into Get to Step in that bass line, man. So, so classic. Mm-hmm. So from what I understand, when, when you create music and, and when you're working in these sessions and, uh, and on these projects, your goal is to have the best track on the album, regardless if it gets radio play or if it's the biggest actual, you know, uh, most popular song mm-hmm. and i respect that a lot because you're about quality and mm-hmm. you have a message behind what you do uh speak on that yeah i think my motto and just life in general is really like about kind of having a sense of uniqueness and 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 um um really just being an individual and having uniqueness in your sound but also to really giving uh, the music having a, having the music have a message in it and, that, and when I be my message, I don't mean like you have to go to school and do these things. It's more about like it. I want your the song that you're listening to to have a memory. And so when I when I make a record or have make beats, I just want it to stick in people's head and really realize that oh yeah, like this reminds me of something or or whatnot. So a lot of my records that I've done, I can really say like it doesn't really sound like a lot of people's other records, but in some sense like they really stick out as almost like the single that it's all you always going to play you know what i'm saying yeah. a different not on the radio or, or it's not on going to be on the top billboard or whatever but it's going to be a record that you're going to always remember it when you go back to like yeah. oh yeah and it's it, like timeless music timeless music that's all it is yeah it's yeah. essentially and we haven't even for also for the listener that's brand new to DJ Die now yeah. just like Dilla and how we figured out all along that we were listening to him. Uh-huh. I'm sure there's someone listening right now that may be the same thing. So let's talk a little bit about your resume. Yeah. Because you're being very humble about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I know, obviously, you got started in 2012-ish. Like, that was, like, the first, you know, joint that popped off, and that was Kendrick Lamar, right? Money Trees, mm-hmm. right? And that was off of uh, Good Kid, Mad City. Mm-hmm. And then the following year, you had your worst behavior with yeah. Drake, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then... After that, it seemed like things just started progressing, and even on, on Dre's latest Compton, yeah. he had three joints on there. Yep. And I would say All in the Day's Work was was one of the standouts, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you, Anderson was all over that track, so mm-hmm. it, was, it was great to just fuse those together. And then you were on Madonna's album. It's mm-hmm. like, it just seemed like you haven't looked back since. It's just mm-hmm. it's going up. Yeah. You know, what, what is that experience like working with so many of your, of your inspirations? Uh, it's it's great, man. Like I can really say that it's been kind of humbling in some sense because you kind of realize you're at a point of like you're a peer to a lot of your people you work with or looked up to or uh, just a- admiration of just wanting to play them beats and wanting them to like you know say oh I like that when they have the dream story of like you know thing. But to be at the point now is is is, is cool because the reason you're being called is kind of like they want you in the room. They they. They kind of expect you to help them, gu- guide them, or help them, or 
be a part of their next journey of trying to find something musically. And, and that's really dope because that makes me feel like, okay, I don't have to be nervous. I don't have to overthink it. I can just really be myself and create at a point where I'm just being, having an imagination to try to come up with something cool. When you stepped in the room with any of those people, was there a moment uh, where you, not intimidated, but you were just, you, you know, you just had a moment and had to put on your, your, your game face on and be like, yo, I'm here for a reason. Yeah, I mean, I, man, I've, 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 it's funny, I've met, I mean, if I can think of like sort of a hip hop, I've, I've pretty much met, I've met Puff, I've met Jay, I've met Dre, and those are like kind of like the, what do you call it, the, the, the three uh, king of, the cash, cash kings, whatever yeah. they call them. Uh-huh. I met all of them in different situations, and it's kind of cool because it's like, I when I when I play beats or whatever, I don't get nervous anymore. I used to be like, oh man, I gotta have a hot the hot one. I'm like, but now I'm just like, man, if you don't want it, somebody gonna want it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's and that's just my mindset. It's just like I know I got something in my music. So I've kind of I've kind of I was just meeting them, shaking hands, and kind of just being like, okay, I'm in the same space. It's really cool. But now I'm kind of like, you know, man. Everybody's people, man. Yeah, we we're all, just normal people. We're just music lovers. Exactly, man. That's yeah. all, man. And, and and when you can have a conversation about music, that's when it's like. Yeah, that's why I like. That's why I mess with you, man. Yeah. Let's actually get into the sample that kicked everything off. Uh, Beach House. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver Soul. Yeah. Yo, let's get into that right now here on Selection Radio. We'll be right back with DJ Dahi. And here we are coming to you worldwide. We have DJ Dahi. You just heard Beach House, Silver Soul, and that was the sample to Money Trees mm -hmm. with Kendrick Lamar, produced by my man DJ Dahi. Mm -hmm. What does um, Grand Star mean to you in Chinatown? Oh man, that's 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 a that's a joint right there. That's that was um, man. I used to do so many like events, like hip hop events. I remember when I first moved back to LA because I was living in the in the Bay, and I moved back um to Los Angeles around 2007 yeah 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 and so I, I remember uh my boy Tunji used to tell us about these like hip-hop showcases or kind of like events where and, and that was a funny time because at around 2007 that was like the the new way of LA like rap you know what I'm saying when you had Blue, Pac Div, um, Overdose, Overdose uh like uh Thurs and um what was Thurs's group man you and I, sorry, you and, you and, I, I, you and I. Uh, there was so many, even Jack, like Jay Davy, Jay Davy, Miguel, Miguel. Like, bro, that was a that was just a dope era because like everybody was like, every, it, even the cool kids were coming out cool, here. Yeah, man, like every and it, and it was unity. That was the cool thing about it because everybody used to kind of be in the same space and like you would do hear a song with this person, you do a song with that person. It's like it was cool, and I think Grand Star was dope because that's where the centerpiece of like you know a lot of showcases for beats um um rappers i remember seeing swift d uh who's pack Diz producer at the time do like these beat Legend. showcases and it was like i was like yo <laughs> who is this dude man and I, and I really i i like that you know when i the way i kind of describe producers and beats is like almost dope when like when you hear something and it makes you want to go to the studio like immediately because it's so good and that's when i first heard all his beats um, at the time when he was doing all these showcases, and I was like, man, like this dude is is, is incredible, and that, and he also did the uh, the Red Tune, uh, the Red Bull um, uh, showcase, okay, beat, beat showcase, they beat were, showcase, and I, and, they, and uh, I I did a couple of those back in the day too, but those were those were funny. Yeah, I want to hear a DJ Dahi set, like beat set, just full on just all your unreleased and edits. I got, that, I got, be... I'm 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 definitely coming out with some. Definitely right. come on with some. Yeah, come well, let's some. speak about that. The good seed. Yeah. Um. What, What's the story on that? Uh man, it's it's an album I'm currently working on. Um, it's it's essentially just a, it represents uh, the idea that um, music is given to you at a very young age, and you kind of have to grow up with it. And it's going to be a part of your growth as you're going to learn and and give lessons, and also to um, become a. a um, you're gonna become a, a human being in, in some sense. Like you're gonna become a grown up that can just kind of differentiate like how life gives you sometimes. What's it? What's the, what's the term? They give you. Uh, I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of. Uh, well, I know, know as well that it's named after your mom's plan, yeah, plan, I, old plant store yeah, as well. Yeah, so it, it has like a, a family. You're, you're carrying on this kind of legacy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's essentially yeah. It's like 
it's all about just growth and 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 plain and simple in, in a sense of like you know being being put in front of challenges in life and like my mom you know she moved back to north carolina um recently and actually about like maybe like yeah a few years ago and you know her big move was kind of like leaving california leaving me and kind of let me kind of grow and be a man in the sense of like growing up by myself but also having the lessons that she taught me and and guiding me and like you know just being a good person and being a good comedian and never really swaying from like who you are and and make right decisions you know what i'm saying so um but it's going to be a mix of beats rhymes artists new artists all people i've worked with and these are the artists that you out of everyone the people that you really you know have a full message exactly on a part of this and and that's how you connected with no id because mm -hmm. he understands the vision mm -hmm. you know it's almost like some quincy jones you're curating yeah you know th this not even compilation but this album and you're you're be you're the beat you're the sound behind yeah. it and you're kind of orchestrating it so i'm looking forward to it no id is good people yep. and i was even happy to hear you um connect with snow allegra mm -hmm. yo that that girl man she's she's special she's she's the one she's, she's yeah she's definitely like the the young jedi that's getting groomed to be something dope and yeah. not to put pressure on her but i think she i don't know she she she's she deserves it and i think she, it's gonna it's gonna show yeah in the future and then it's just dope because you could also connect with terrace martin and thundercat as well and mm -hmm. this music world is big but it's really small and at the end of the day it's really dope that you're here mm -hmm. and just know man that anytime we we, we got to really connect and i, I hope yep. i hope to really connect you know our squad with you because they, they could really learn we're gonna stop by that studio please yours. man anytime, anytime yeah and any we're, look, we're looking forward to that album and before you go, we're going to get into an exclusive set from you. I, I'm really, I've never seen you spin before, so I'm, I'm hyped. Okay. All right. All so right. You, you ready? I'm ready, man. Let's All go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Once again, DJ Dahi here on Selection Radio. want to thank you guys for listening. We're about to get into Don't Go Nowhere. All about the sound of tomorrow.